nah, -uh. you can not say that. Venturing into the world of herbalism can be a minefield of what not to say with dire consequences if you get it wrong. But the good news is, it is possible to communicate what we mean in an effective way without getting into legal trouble. You just need to make a few savvy tweaks to tighten up your approach, which is exactly what we're about to cover in this video. But before we do, please hit like on this video and subscribe to the Herbal Entrepreneur channel so that you'll get a notification next time we release a video to help you on your Herbal Entrepreneur journey. So let's get right into the seven savvy language tweaks for herbalists to communicate about herbs without landing in legal hot water. We are going to cover what you cannot say, what the sort of things you should be avoiding, and what you can say instead, some great alternatives that are actually quite okay for you to use as a herbalist and um, in educating people about what you do and how you work with herbs. So as herbalists, we are not medical practitioners and we do not practice medicine. So you really want to avoid saying things like diagnose and disease. These sort of uh, terms imply that you are practicing medicine, which as herbalists, we are not actually doing. Instead, we're working with people to help support their body and their wellness. So rather than diagnosis or diagnosing someone, you might like to um, use terms like assessing the state of the body, assessing and um, yeah, really starting to evaluate the, the person as a whole, their energy, those sort of things is what you want to um, stay to in, rather than using words like diagnose and disease. Another thing we want to stay away from is preventing illness, okay? So these, again, are words that we really want to steer clear from. You don't want to, you can't necessarily prevent and you don't want to talk about illnesses. Instead, what we can be using here instead is like supporting the body to maintain the natural balance, okay? And so this, we're not actually preventing anything. We're just supporting the body's natural systems to help ensure that it stays healthy. So this is a nice way of saying it because we're not actually preventing um, illness or sickness. What we're doing is just maintaining that natural balance, which um, goes hand in hand with a healthy body that um, probably is most likely absent of these illnesses and disease. But we're not saying that. We're just maintaining the natural balance, which is what we really can be doing with herbs. And um, it's, a, it's a great way to be using that language to show what we're doing. Thirdly, we cannot actually say that we are relieving symptoms, okay? I see this a lot with um, herbalists online saying that they are relieving um, cold and flu symptoms, all of these sort of things. We cannot actually say that because, um, again, it falls under that umbrella of practicing medicine. And as herbalists, we are primarily educators and not medical practitioners, okay? It is really important because we're not licensed and, um, or depending where in the world you are, but in most countries, there's not that licensing for herbalists. So you need to be really careful there. Rather than using the term relieve symptoms, you can kind of substitute that out with, um, you might ease discomfort or you might, um, uh, correct an imbalance in the body okay this is these sort of terms are okay to to be using because they are more um they're not directly practicing medicine they're about uh putting that body back into balance which is a great way of um seeing and viewing how herbs do actually work and have a positive impact on our bodies Number four is we cannot heal patients okay so we're not actually healing our patients what you can use um, instead of saying that you're healing patients is you are supporting your clients, okay? So it's a, a much legally safe way to, to refer to the people you work with as clients and you're supporting them on their wellness journey rather than healing their illnesses and diseases, okay? So really stick to that terminology and you're going to be um, on safer ground though. So stick with the, you're supporting your clients.
Our fifth savvy language tweak is to steer away from using terms such as medicines, medications and remedies. They are all no-nos. And what you can really um, use instead of those are things like herbal preparations. Okay, so you, what you've prepared, the, um, these sort of things, or products is also okay. You can um, put those together and use those sort of terms rather than those medicines, which imply practicing medicine. The sixth thing that I want to address today is avoiding the word treat, okay? So we are not treating diseases, we're not treating symptoms, we're not treating anything. Um, what we are really uh, doing is we're pro providing herbal education so that clients can take control of their own wellness and um, make better decisions when it comes to their whole health okay the seventh savvy language tweak and our final one for today is to avoid using the term prescribe okay once again prescribe really does fall under practicing medicine and as herbalists we are not licensed to practice medicine instead what you can say is you can develop a herbal plan to support the body okay or you might say things develop a plan to restore the natural balance like what we were talking about before balance is a great term to um describe what we do and how we uh, bring the body back to that healthy well state that um we want for our clients. So there you have it. They are the seven savvy language tweaks to communicate what you mean as an herbalist in a legally safe way. To help you on this journey, we have put together a checklist to outline the main points in this video, plus a few extras that I didn't have time to mention to really help you um, understand what's not okay and how to kind of tweak and um, evolve what you want to say into something that is actually okay for you to be saying to your clients on your website, on your labels and that sort of thing. So please do uh, check out that link below and download the special resource to help you uh, make those language tweaks and know what to steer clear of and what sort of alternatives that you can use instead. Now, before I end up this video today, I really do want to um, uh, outline a final piece of advice, which is that you need to remember that all of the words that you use are just words and there is something else that you need to consider and that is the intent and that has a big impact on how your words are interpreted. So what I mean by this is you need to understand that the core of what we do as herbalists is that we are not licensed medical practitioners. We really are primarily um, educators and help to support our clients on their wellness journey, okay? We understand the herbs and are able to um, educate our clients around how they're used to support the body, but we do not like make any diagnosis. We do not prescribe herbal regimens, medications, these sort of things. That's not what we do. It's really around that education piece and um, supporting clients on their wellness journey. So no matter what language you use, you really do need to think about how what you're saying can be interpreted and it's in the best interest of our clients as well to understand that that's where we're coming from and how the herbs can help them on their journey of yeah natural balance and wellness for their body thanks again for watching i love supporting you on your herbal journey and um helping you to build a strong and sustainable herbal business we do have more videos coming at you for this channel to help you on um on this pathway that we love to follow and so if you want to hear more about um how to start an herbal business and ways to grow uh what you're doing please do hit like on this video and subscribe to the channel so that you will get a notification next time a video is released I hope that you're having a wonderful week and wish you all the best on your journey to build your herbal business.